Tim goes in to go get a job at this little warehouse. So, but there was two people in front of him. There was a Latino man in front of him. There was a white man in front of him. The white man was clean cut, clean cut, but he had a few tattoos. And judging by his appearance, he may have been maybe part of a gang back in the day, Hell's Angels, Aryan Brotherhood, uh, so on and so forth. So the white man goes in first. And Tim being nosy, he's trying to see if this white man gonna get this job. The white man says, yeah, I'm here for such and such position. And the interviewer was real uh, a pain in the ass, right? He said, well, we're gonna, we did a little background. It doesn't take long. They did his background. See, this type of job, they do your background right there. So they did his background. Oh, wow. Uh, look like you have two felonies. Ooh. And the white man tried to explain to the interviewer. He was like, look, you know, I, I made some mistakes. I did that a while back. Uh, I did my time. I'm just trying to leave that life alone. I have a family now. I just want to go on a straight and narrow. Uh, I'm a good worker. I pay. He said, the interviewer said, oh, okay, slow down. So that's not necessary. So no reason for me to allow you to continue. Uh, uh, and, and, and the white man interrupted. He said, I, I, look. I'm just trying to improve myself. In the, in the interview, I said, I, I'm just slow you down again. Listen to me. Listen to me good. Uh, we don't hire felons, okay? We don't we do not do that here. And you're trying to improve yourself. Maybe you can improve yourself, perhaps somewhere else. But you can't do it here. And I understand that life happens, but life can't happen here. Next, Tim couldn't believe a white man denied employment. Tim was, Tim was kind of nervous, cause Tim was a nigga, and he knew if niggas always get the short end of the stick. So if a white man got the short end of the stick, Tim ain't trying to see the end of the stick. Then a Latino man goes in. Now the Latino man goes in, and Tim is eavesdropping again, cause Tim's going to be next. Tim getting nervous, but this Latino man he goes in. But before the Latino man says anything, another man comes in, another Latino man. So uh, Tim is like, okay, what's going on here? Why is there two people for one interview? Then Tim realized it was an interpreter. So Tim was like, why is this man? Okay, so Tim is listening. There's an interpreter. Okay. So the interviewer asks, the Latino man that's being interviewed, say his name is Carlos. He asked, the interviewer asks Carlos, what's your name? So the interviewer, uh, the translator is always translating. So the interviewer say, what's your name? And then they tell, he tells uh, Carlos, he said, Carlos is his name. The, uh, the translator tells the interviewer, his name is Carlos. And Carlos is looking so pathetic and weak. His head is down the whole time. And the interviewer says, uh, well, where are you from? And the translator tells him that he's from ecuador so the interviewer adds do you have any paperwork do you have friends and family what kind of job are you looking for and the man just kept saying uh, uh no 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 work no he tried to, he tried to speak up for himself the translator the translator he told the translator hold on I'm, he said he said uh, uh no no I, I, I j uh just need job i just need job so the interviewer asked translator, does he have a identification? Translator said, no. Does he have a visa? The translator said, look, look, he, he comes from a, 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 a war-torn country. He comes from probably the worst kind of poverty you've ever seen. He risked his life coming over here. I mean, that in itself lets you know how determined he is to work. So the, the translator tells the interviewer, do you have anything for Carlos? He is so grateful. Is it cleaning, cleaning uh, the building? Is it, he, he doesn't mind. Is it stacking boxes? Whatever you have for him, being a packer, whatever you have for Carlos, he'll do it. I mean, just look at him. And Carlos had his head down. His lip was dragging to the floor. I mean, just look at Carlos. I mean, he risked his life. The, the crossing the rivers. Risk being shot, dehydration, all to come to this beautiful nation we call America. And that interviewer looked at Carlos and Carlos looked back at the interviewer. He said, you know what? 
I didn't want to say anything, but I, it just moves my heart what you people are willing to do to come over to this great nation. You know what? Even though you don't have any social security number, you don't have your visa, you don't have a driver's license, you don't have an ID, you know what? We're, we're, you know what? We're not even going to run a background check. We're not going to do none of that. You know what? Just based off what you just told me, and Carlos still looking, I got something for you. Y'all, you'll come on to the back and I get you guys squared away. And the interviewer also asked, also, also, one more thing. Do you got, would you happen to know where we can get uh, aid and assistance? The interviewer said, you know what? I know a few people that work down at the office. I can get Carlos some food stamps and I can get him some affordable housing. Oh my God. Just the, you got your story, the triumph, the determination you people have. Oh, it's just break take, breathtaking. Tim looked around like, what the fuck is going on up in here? Then it was Tim's turn. Tim goes up in there. And Tim, he was nervous because he didn't know what to expect. The man said, do you have a driver's license, your social security number? We're going to have to do a background check. Tim said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. You didn't do that to old boy back there. Interviewer said, well, I don't know if he got the memo. Well, most Americans are lazy. And that man risk his life to come here tim said tim looked at him square in his face he said look nigga i am not about to risk my life for eleven dollars and fifty cents an hour man go ahead rip up my application i'm about to go somewhere else